Okay, I'm here in, uh, this is actually a town called Glen Alpine, okay? It's uh, where my friend Lou lives. And this is right across the street from his house, the Giving Heart Thrift Shop. And there's a lady there that looks just like Deborah Joy. I'm gonna go see if it is. But this is where Lou lives right here. This is his beautiful 1939 restored house. The pool out back and everything. It is a beautiful place. It is just gorgeous. And so uh, I'm going to uh, take that long distance. It must be, I don't know, 70 steps, if that. And we're going to go check out the Giving Heart Thrift Shop here in Glen Alpine, which is just to the west of Morganton. And uh, say hi to Deborah Joy there. Anybody coming? No, I think I got a, a clear thing there. Anyway. There she is. I didn't know she came down to North Carolina. This, this Joy. Deborah. <laughs> I. <laughs> oh, so, let's see what they got in here. A Chihuahua puppy for sale. Is that $25 or $250? suffering and the grief but what stands out to me are the blessings of god you can join ann online as she shares how to experience the holy spirit as a constant companion november 8th through the 10th costs and other details are at the cove.org hi and my late friend dina would have loved this mickey snow one cares snow one it's not no one cares. It's snow one cares. Yankees. <laughs> wow. This is the cutest little troll I've ever seen. <laughs> I gotta get that one for Sightseeing Sally. I think she'd like that. Wow, the Wendy's Bears. That's cool. Five dollars a pop. Send me tips, please. They are cute, aren't they? Little bald snowmen. I fit right in. God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. No more death. No sorrow crying. There shall be no more pain. Wow. We got some Christian rock on the radio there. I guess it's gotta be K-Love. Yeah, any camo pants? These aren't bad. These aren't bad. They're kind of olive colored. I like them, but they're not really camo. Oh, things are falling. Everything I touch, I'm like a bull in a china shop. Everything I touch falls. I was wondering this one. That's kind of interesting. I don't know. Mountains, I guess, right? Looks like someone drew it with a magic marker. I think this would go with camo. Hmm. <clears throat> would clash, but it would be a cool clash. I should take this and uh, send it to Barb there in Athens. It's a University of Florida shirt. <laughs> I wouldn't want to walk around the streets of Athens, Georgia in a University of Florida shirt. That'd be taking your life into your own hands. Yeah. That's a cool shirt. The 1982 World's Fair. May through October 1982, Knoxville, Tennessee. That is a cool shirt. I don't know, maybe I'll get that. Three bucks. They're all free. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, anyway, this is pretty cool. That's very nice. Uh, some... There he goes, there he goes, uh, Nomadic Fanatic on his cycle. Anyway, that was pretty neat, that was pretty neat. This is the, uh, the uh, Giving Heart Thrift Shop, very Christian. Very, very ultra Christian, which is cool. I'm cool with that. Just uh, across the street from where I'm staying. And uh, I don't know, man. That should I get that? I could come back and get that. Uh, I like that. Uh, I like that. The uh, World's Fair. I do like the World's Fair um, T-shirt. I think that was pretty cool. There's the there's the railroad line that comes with like ten freight trains a day. Anyway, so I'm just kind of hanging out, just walking around. Uh, Glen Alpine here. We got Jug Wilson Street here. Who the heck is Jug Wilson? 
I'd like to I'd like to live on that street. Maybe I can find a house down here that I could uh, fix up, you know? I don't know, man. Hey everybody, I'm here in a place called Glen Alpine, North Carolina, just to the west of Morganton. It's a beautiful little town. It's where my friend Lou lives that I've been staying with while I'm here in the uh, in the uh, Morganton area. It's just a little town to the west of Morganton. We got a couple doggies over here. Oh, okay. I don't know if I want to. They don't look like they're. They don't look like they are tied up. So I don't know. I'll think I'll pass on that. <laughs> I'm doing some walking around here. Just kind of checking out the town. So join me, shall you? So now this is the main road. This is the main drag in uh, Glen Alpine. Now the thing is this, even though there is technically a sidewalk here, there does not seem to be a lot of protection from the uh, traffic on the road. I mean, really? Some car, some, some car could come and uh, just kind of like, whoops. Anyway. So there's the little town. We're going to head over there and see what's cooking. Okay, so now we have the Glen Alpine Knitting Mills, Inc., which I'm sure is long out of business. But it is a beautiful old brick building, don't you think? And our little sidewalk here takes us very close to the road, don't you think? You have cars within t inches of you as you uh, pass by here, right? Let's see if we can zip through this little uh, turn here before another car comes. Give me at least a foot between me and the car, right? Okay, that's the intersection of Main Street and uh, Zero. <laughs> so this is the old that old uh, mill building or whatever. Winery Antiques on the back here. Looks like it might even be open. We got the hum of the power substation. Proudly serving all of Glen Alpine with modern day electricity. How how modern is that? We've got a duck in this yard. Hello, Mr. Duck. A brown duck. That's this little pool there. Looks like he's all by himself. That looks like a bustling closed store. I wonder what that was. Anyway, we are now here at the downtown bustling metropolis of Glen Alpine. This is it. This is downtown Glen Alpine. The urban, urbane glory. The Glen Alpine Town Hall. I presume that's probably something like a post office or something. We got the restaurant, just restaurant. The mountain sports place with a couple bikes in it. A drugstore. Clinic drugs. That's right, that's the post office. The PO. At the Glen Alpine Town Hall, we got the post office. We got the Glen Alpine Depot restaurant called the Green Wave. We got a mountain sports store. We got a cl clinic drug, I guess clinic ice cream shop. And a cottage place, cash points. And that's the town. There's the Liberty Bell of the town. This is the downtown Glen Alpine. Kind of quaint. <laughs> I'd get some lunch here sometime. This would be kind of an interesting place to uh, to check out the uh, the food. But they're closed. They're closed. It's uh, what time is it? About three o'clock. They're closed on Sundays and Mondays. Today is a Tuesday. Tuesday they closed at two o'clock, six thirty to two. So they're already closed today. They were closed yesterday and the day before. They're only open till two today. I don't know, man. I guess it's a breakfasty place, but anyway, check it out. We got a couple happy uh, Glen Alpinings here, and we got the free uh, Blue Ridge Christian News for October. That's cool. I think we got a veritable traffic jam here, really. Anyway, I should get a PO box here. That's kind of a neat PO. 28628. Eight. I like it. I like it. They got to make it across the tracks before another one of those uh, 50 car trains comes 50 car trains comes through and then I'm going to be here for a while. Anyway, I'm on the I'm on the right side of the tracks now. Good for me. <laughs> oh, there's a Dollar General. 
See? Every little town, even a town as small as Glen Alpine, has a Dollar General. In addition to Lou's house, there are some beautiful houses here. Look at that. I think that's a B&B. &B. But uh, some really pretty old houses here in Glen Alpine, that's for sure. We're just on the foothills of the uh, North Carolina mountains, which if I was a little higher, you could see off in the distance there. I'm not high enough. I need to get higher. Probably of these two-lane roads, you get one slow poke like that person in the white car. It's got to be a little old lady driving, right? And then everybody's got to follow her. A double yellow line, he can't legally pass. So it's 20 miles an hour for them for however long. Uh, the joys of country roads. Again, a couple really nice houses here. Really fixed up, painted up nice. Look at that beautiful porch. Yeah, you got some nice ones. This one's very close. Looks like almost the same model as the house that Lou has down the street. Beautiful, huh? I mean, I love the porches, don't you? Now, of course, sit out here and listen to the traffic ain't the best thing in the world, but uh, other than that, it's not a bad idea, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. This is Pump Street. Pump. Pump and Jug Wilson. Pump, uh, just at the corner of Ch Pump and Jug Wilson. Now, of course, we could uh, put an R there, make that an R instead of a P. I know it's probably hard to see with the, uh, it's had a bottle of uh, isoprocin there. Anyway, we could put a, uh, we could put a uh, R there at the first letter and make that Rump Street, and then put a T in front of it, and it could be Trump Street. Yeah, what a good idea. Okay, we're toward the end of October here. We're seeing a little bit of color in the trees, so that's nice. Fall is on its way. Anyway, I got a little story here from my friend Lou. I, I'm not sure if I'm repeating it properly, but uh, from what, what I understand, this fenced-in area that you see ahead of me here uh, was a the town of Glen Alpine built a tennis court here because one of the residents around here wanted a tennis court. He thought that would be great. We need a tennis court for our little town. I forget which one of these residents it was. And they built it. They put a tennis court. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's the tennis, the room where they store the tennis balls. I don't know. But they built this little tennis court here. <laughs> and, Apparently, the town council got mad at how much money it was costing to maintain it. And it was kind of built as a favorable, as favor to somebody who lived around here. So they ended up just abandoning it. And then one of the town councilmen bought the property at a very reduced price and was going to have this turned into some sort of uh, government housing, townhouses, or something like that. And he was going to make a, a mint on it, something like that. That's the story I'm told. And the uh, town council said, no way, Jose. And they uh, basically just said, issued no, they said, we're not going to issue any building permits for this lot. So it just stands here as, a, you know, abandoned. You can see the uh, where the nets were there. Grown, overgrown tennis court here. I don't know, man. It's kind of cool in a way. But uh, it, is, it is now seen as a catch basin in heavy rain. The rain will drain off these uh, little hills here and come down and pond in here. And this can be actually a little flooded tennis court, but that's how this got to be like this. <laughs> I don't know, what could you do with that? I could see Mark Fun Jones coming over here and maybe doing some skateboarding here, huh? You could make this a little skateboard center, right? Put a couple ramps in here, get a weed whacker, knock down the weeds. I think the kids of Morganton, uh, Morganton and Glen Alpine would have a good, would make this into a skateboard center, right not? I don't know, man. I don't know. I come up with good ideas, don't I? Anyway, that ought to do our little tour of Glen Alpine. I'm not moving to Glen Alpine. Glen Alpine's where my, where my friend Lou lives. Morganton is the town next door, which is kind of a, looks like a big metropolis compared to this little place, but it is a charming little place here. In the foothills of Western North Carolina. So I thought I'd uh, just do a little uh, stroll around town and I'm glad you joined me. All right, folks, thanks for coming along. Have a good one. Vlog under. Hello, who might you be?